Quick demonstration of uh, Freonce Mobile on uh, iPhones, Androids, uh, showing ArcGIS Server for uh, public access of land records application. This is an application that you download from the uh, stores. And uh, once it's on from the stores, it's just an application like any other application. And we can go ahead and see this entry screen that comes up for the first time. We just want to go ahead and hit load profile on both the Android and the iPhone here. And once we do, we'll be able to pull down maps. Well, for this application, we've got these city-county maps that are public access for land records. Let's go ahead and save that. And we'll notice that we've got three different maps here. Let's go into uh, the Georgetown County South Carolina map and the Greensboro map on the iPhone. Just kind of show you uh, two different applications. Uh, we should say mapping applications. It's on the same Freonce mobile uh, device or application, but it's running two different map services here. Uh, these are both going live to ArcGIS server applications. And we can pan, we can zoom in, we could zoom to our GPS location here. It would follow us down the street. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and come in here and say, well, I want to do a search. I don't want to just pan and zoom around. I want to search on maybe a street address that's going to your uh, uh, index, your geocode index. Or uh, maybe I just want to create my own custom search that's going to be uh, to my parcel information, kind of a classic parcel search. You can see these are two different ones. That's because we can customize our searches by the system administrator. This is custom applications that you build. Custom searches, what layers you want to edit, everything's in there. Uh, what data is returned. This form, you, you can see once again a little different. Uh, we can identify on the feature over here. We don't have too much showing over on this one. Let's go back, or uh, we can just zoom to it. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this one over here. Get a little more information. We can change the field of aliases also. Let's go back. Let's zoom to that one. And uh, let's go ahead and turn on some different layers here. Uh, once again, you are control of the layers. You know, let's show uh, uh, municipal and land records and buildings and snow leaf and we'll go ahead and save that and over here on uh, this one let's go ahead and turn on the uh, how about the aerial photos once again you set up what base layers you want what groups of layers you want to see uh, let's show some uh, utility data here save that can I identify on these features let me click once and identify who's the property owner right there I'll go ahead and click on it once again, the attribute data that comes up is your control up, all the way down to, boy, let's even link to another application. Let's jump to the county's tax information so I can bring up uh, PDF files, as built, uh, jump to another website, see the tax information here. So fully interactive with other applications. Jump back to and turn the droid on here. Doesn't like to be left alone too much. Uh, the droids the same way. You know, let's go ahead and identify on something here and see that information. See the tax information at the county assessor's site. So there we go. Freonce Mobile. Great way to get your system, land records, application out to the public on all three smartphones, Androids, Blackberries, iPhones. Uh, you design custom applications in-house and push them out to end users internally or externally with Freonce Mobile.